G'day, Dave from Hurdle Gear here. What I've got with me here is an Evotech Performance Radiator Guard. Evotech Performance make these individually at their factory in the UK. And these are the good gear. These are the ones we sell whenever we can get one that fits your bike. Each one is individually designed for the bike that it's going to fit. They don't have a frame. They are machined out of a single piece of aircraft grade aluminium. They are light and they are strong. We're going to bang the crap out of a couple to show you how good they are. You're about to see us do some very silly things to prove that these radiator guards are tough. They're a little bit dangerous and they're not very smart. Don't do this at home. Really, really, don't do it. But if you do, can we have the video? These are some of the things that we're using to bang around these radiator guns. And they're things that I find on the side of the road. They come off the backs of utes, and we don't like the guys that drop them, but we see them all the time. Small rocks, nuts and bolts, honky nuts, tools. Each thing that we're putting to the test is a real thing that you'll find on West Australian roads, and honestly, be prepared. You'd be replacing this by now. There's a little bit of seepage there, but it still gets you home. And there is one of the first shots from the Little Rock, which would just about do you. And some of this is from the Honky Nuts. All of those would have done some damage. The radiator's ready to go home by now, but it'd still get you home at this point. Yeah. As we thought, the nuts and bolts have done the job there, there, there. And if we were under pressure, this would be spewing fluid. They're sharper, but they're on the roads, which is why we want them guarded. That really hurts. So the tool run has genuinely knackered this radiator. Seeping, seeping, seeping. It's rooted. You wouldn't ride this home. This is pull over in a hurry and call your mate with the trailer. The obvious place we can see all of this is with the bow and arrow. As you see, straight through. We've got three bow and arrow strikes on the radiator guard, and each of them has spread the hex a little bit and possibly even touched the cord, but there's no holes. Remember that this is from the compound boat, equivalent to a hunting rifle. You can see the same amount of strikes on this, and it is a bit banged up. This is still a sacrificial unit, but that is just knackered. This will bring you home, and if you're halfway across the Nullarbor, I'd rather be carrying this. Well, this is a little bit more warped because that has held it together. So I'm feeling fairly happy, but if you're in Kiev right now, you'd be better off on the motorcycle with the Evotech guard. So you can see, not completely unmarked, but still happier than his mate.